you remember the book series, Choose Your Own Adventure from Our Childhood? Each story was written from a second person point of view and you and I, the reader, assume the role of the protagonist, the hero of the story, and the choices that we made along the way determine the hero's action and plot's outcome. James hears a scream on the other side of the door. He decides to A, open the door to see what's on the inside. If that's your choice, go to page 42. B, turn around, go back outside and have a walk in the park. If that's your choice, go to page 93. Then you would flip to the corresponding page and the adventure would continue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's life. Life is a choose your own adventure epic tale. We are constantly being presented with dynamic situations like James was. Do we choose A or do we choose B? The simple choice in the moment seems inconsequential, but it immediately alters the trajectory and outcomes of your life from that moment forward. The original idea emerged while a dad, Edward Packard, was thinking up bedtime stories for his daughters. They each clamored for a different ending to his stories. His daughters loved his choose your own adventure stories so much that he decided to start writing them down. Well, in 1969, he passed a manuscript to a friend of a friend who worked at a William Morris literary agency. The agent thought that it was a great idea saying he would be surprised if there were no takers. Edward was soon surprised because there were no takers. Nobody wanted it. The agent gave up on it threw the manuscript in a drawer where it proceeded to collect dust. But Edward decided to choose his own adventure and move forward. He set out in 1970 to find a publisher on his own. He was rejected by nine publishing companies, back to back to back to back to back, nine times. Disheartened, he also decided to put the manuscript in a drawer to collect dust. But five years later, in 1975, he decided to take the adventure back up. He finally convinced a small publisher, Vermont Crossroads Press, to publish it. It went on to sell 8,000 copies, a large number for a small local publishing house. That could have been the climax of Edward's adventure, but Edward kept choosing his way forward to the greater and greater adventure. Edward kept promoting it, and the series was picked up by Pocket Books, where it also sold well, but still not significant. Well, is that it? Was that the end of Edward's story? No, Edward continued to choose his way forward. He kept promoting it, and in 1979, Bantam Books picked up the series. And little did Edward know that this would be the beginning of his epic adventure. The Choose Your Own Adventure series would become the most popular children's series during the 1980s and the 1990s, selling more than 250 million copies between 1979 and 1998. Without Edward continuing to choose his way forward to greater and greater adventure, none of that would have happened. Edward structured the potential plot lines and story endings in much the same way that we choose our way forward in life. Your choices thus far has resulted in four potential plot lines. Okay, plot line number one. In each of Edward's adventures, there's always at least one highly desired resolution involving the discovery of a handsome monetary reward of some, of some sort. This is true in life as well. The same character, the same hero, the same you, from the same origin or circumstances and with the same abilities, but based on the choices that you make along the way, can result in a highly desired resolution, often involving a handsome monetary reward as well. Plotline two, on the opposite spectrum, based on the character's choices, resulting in the death of you, the physical you or the inner you, that is like a good portion of our population. Their choices have resulted in the death of their you, their inner hero, and they have become permanently stuck in complacency and in complaint. And they're living out the rest of their lives watching other people's adventures on Netflix, TikTok, or YouTube. Plot line three, others' endings in Edward's books are not great, but also not terrible. Not living in heaven or hell, just purgatory. That might be right where you are in your adventure now. You're doing okay, probably better than most, maybe better than your siblings, maybe better than those you graduated high school with, maybe even better than most of the other people in your office or industry. It's not awesome, but it's also not terrible either. But you know for sure it's nowhere near what you are really capable of. And it is certainly not the most desired outcome of your hero's story. And plot line four, another life peril Edward baked into his epic adventures is occasionally a particular set of choices would throw the reader into a loop where they repeatedly reach the same page 
and then they were just stuck. This has happened to many people's lives too. Their choices have made their life monotonous, the same, a doldrum, like Groundhog's Day every day. Their life lacks adventure altogether. They're just stuck in a rut. In Edward's books and in life, when you get to this point, the only option is to restart, to begin anew, to start your adventure all over again. So Darren Daily friends, where are you in your adventure right now? Take out your Darren Daily journal and notate. Are you in plot line number one, a grand success, completely victorious at the climax of your story? Everything is going perfectly. No help, growth, or change is needed. Are you in plot line two, dead, the hero in you extinguished? Have you given up on the adventure completely and are just satisfied to be a spectator in other people's adventures? I doubt any of you fit into number two or you wouldn't be with me here on Darren Daily right now. How about plot line number three though? Are you doing okay? Not bad, but nowhere near your most desired outcome. Or are you in plot line four? Stuck, bored, but ready to get back into action, ready to get back in control of your life, ready to begin fresh, ready to attack the future. Tell us what plot line you are in now and what choice do you intend to make to live your grand adventure to your fullest and greatest potential? Tell us that in the comments below.